Hi guys, Greg Doyle, 8 Sleep Box and Repeat. A uh, fight I want to talk to you guys about this week is the Commonwealth Light Heavyweight title fight um, in the Light Heavyweight division, as I say, and that is between Lyndon Arthur, who is 15 and 0, and he fights Emmanuel Anim, who is 14 wins, 2 losses, 1 draw. So, I'll get straight into it guys and then I'll give you my prediction. Um, I've watched quite a bit of both fighters today. Um, I didn't think that I'd seen Lyndon Arthur before, but I definitely have. He's been on the BT cards, I just didn't recognise the name at first. He's making steady progress through the professional ranks. He's got quite a, a high KO percentage. I think he stopped about 11 or 12 of his opponents. And as I say, he fights for the Commonwealth title this Saturday against Emmanuel Anim. So having a look at both guys, um, this fight was a really tough one. And I'm not going to give my prediction away. Um, my prediction on who I thought was going to win the fight wasn't greatly difficult. It was just about how they're going to win the fight. And I've got a couple of things that I'd like to run through with you guys, so I'm going to get into them now. Um, if you have a look at Lyndon Arthur's record, he clearly holds a bit of a punch um, if he stopped the majority of the guys that he's beat. And I've seen relevant videos about him calling out Anthony Yard, etc. You're not calling out Anthony Yard unless you're confident that you can win that fight. Um, so fair play to him for doing that. But he's quite deceiving because he doesn't seem like a one-punch knockout artist. He's not greatly quick. Um, his timing's quite good. And he knows how to make an opponent work. Um, he stands in front of them, sometimes he'll drop one of his hands to invite his opponent on him and make him work. And that's what Emmanuel Wanim will do. Um, I've seen him fighting the Russian, who's got the really high ranking, Salomov. And I think Salomov's ranked probably different with different governing bodies, but independent um, rankings. He's... I think he's ranked around about 17 or something in the world, which is quite good for the light heavyweight division when you think that's the division that's got Bivol, Gvozdik, Beterbiev, Boatze, um, the, the, the list could could actually go on forever. Um, Anthony Yard, etc. So, to get that higher ranking and for Anim, he went the distance with Salimov and... He done really, really well in the fight. Um, Salomov punches very, very hard. He's knocked out about 19 out of the 25 that he's beat. And Anim hung in there with him. And he's had a few, quite a few knockouts himself, um, Emmanuel Anim. So fair play to him for that. He seems one of these African dudes who it's going to be very, very hard to move him. Um, gutsy, determined, works hard on the inside, doesn't mind when the fight gets rugged, etc., um, we've seen quite a few of these brave guys coming from African shores over the years over to the UK and they always put up a fantastic fight. One that might spring to mind, I don't know if some of you guys will remember this, I remember when Ricky Hatton was stopping everyone and Ben Tacky came to town and Ben Tacky gave Ricky Hatton a very, very tough night's work. Um, Ricky Hatton was always ahead in the fight but he gave him a really tough night's work and Emmanuel Anim seems like one of these guys where there's nothing that greatly stands out about him, but he works and he's going to go to town for as long as he can. And you know what? What more can you ask uh, for from some fighters who aren't born with leaps and bounds of talent? Um, Lyndon Arthur, what I watched at Lyndon today, he seems to have a very good judge of distance. Um, he knows how to find cute shots on the inside which is always a plus because if you can land a, an inside uppercut on the chin inside then I would say you're laughing I don't really know if that's a phrase in boxing but I would say that it's setting you up to to perhaps finish the night early um, but he seems to have quite a good jab as well Lyndon Arthur and when he puts his shots together and he grows in confidence he does look like a, a pretty good prospect the one thing that I would say about Lyndon Arthur, though, is one of the fights I watched, I might be contradicting myself here because he won by first round KO. Um, but it seems to be quite pedestrian at times. It doesn't force the pace too much. 
he waits for the opportunities it's, and that could be a confidence it could almost be like he knows that they're going to come so that could also play in Lyndon's favour but for me I would just like to see him be that little bit more energetic and going forward and going back and really try and put on a good statement against um, Emmanuel Anim on Saturday but um, over to prediction time and as I say it's a tough one because Emmanuel Anim is so so tough he's very very tough and if Salomov isn't getting him out of there it is difficult to see how Lyndon Arthur's going to with all due respect because Salomov is a bit more established he's got really high ranking as I say in the, the light heavyweight division um, but sometimes fights don't always work out that way so just because a, a big shot can't stop someone doesn't mean an up-and-comer who feels that they've got a point to prove. Um, it doesn't mean they're not going to stop them as well. But I've got to make a prediction. And for me, I would say I'm going to go potentially with Lyndon Arthur in the second half of the fight. I would not be one bit surprised if it goes to points and um, Lyndon gets made to work for his victory. But... Also, I just think guys like Emmanuel Anim, etc., they are tough, they come all night, but sometimes when you fight these guys like Salomov, it can take something out of you. So my prediction for this weekend um, is for Lyndon Arthur to win in the second half of the fight, round 7 to 12, or on points. Um, as I say, my name's Gregory Doyle, uh, ready for Eat, Sleep, Box and Repeat. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Also check out our website. Thank you.